Hello people of the internet, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, new music to check out today, and this has been a very tremendously exciting release, because Augusti's latest era is finally here, the D-Day album is finally here, the title track MV for the full release is finally here, and that's what we're going to check out today, Augusti's Hegum. Now, I need to be clean. Come cut and clean up front, right out of the gate. Augusti's music and just kind of decay hip hop scene, the K rap scene, is not a genre that I'm very familiar with. I'm also not very well versed in it. I'm very much more vocals and instrumentals than anything else. But in recent times, I've been trying to get delve a little bit more into the K hip hop scene and the K rap scene a little bit. I think. At the time of recording, uh, we listened to Penomeko and Zico's new songs uh, a couple days ago. And then, of course, we did the entire Kokum album. And we checked out a couple artists in other little segments. Like, we've done Big Naughty, we've done a little bit of Wunstein, we've done Justice on OSC Saturday. And I figured, you know what? Let's try and learn us some things. So, we've got the MV for Hegum as well as the album which I'm looking forward to listening to. So, here we go. Transition over. No promises that I'm going to pick up on everything, because I do not have the mental capacities for that. If it's going to be anything like uh, Dejita was, well, one, it's going to be a cinematic masterpiece. Two, it's going to be musically a lot to process. So and a full send it with a hope and a dream. So here we go. The soundstage is really nice in the video. You can feel just how big the city scene is. Like in the parallels stylistically between Daytrita and that musical silence going into that chorus from so nice. <laughs> Oh. oh, you teasing me, you teasing me. Do 
Bring in the aspect bars. Oh, oh, gosh. And it all ties back in. I've forgotten how words work. Oh. Oh, that was an experience. That was an experience indeed. Now, I'm going to take two seconds to look up what the word Higum means. It's much like Dejita, the lyrics rely heavily on this word. So give me two seconds. To free or to abolish? Huh. I like it. I like it, Picasso. If you get that reference, shout out you. But... Oh, this song, the MV. I like the parallels that we've gotten, both stylistically as well as in the visual department between Hegum and Dejita. It's like, for me, this video very much gives me the same inter like, same feeling, kind of like very similar like shot framing in a way that the digital video did except now it's in kind of like modern day instead of historical times and i really like that also the flow of the song there are very similar elements to digital which i really liked i'll kind of want to run through the entire song again if you want to bear with me we'll we'll skip ahead but kind of want to go from the beginning and just talk about bits and pieces as we go so bear with me Already, the what I love about this MV and this song is just how big it sounds. Not in that it's this grandiose piece of music like a marching band or like a big brass band song is. No, when you listen to this, especially on the MV, you your mind. When you listen to the song, your mind kind of starts to put together a mental scene of what it's like interpreting for you. But for me, when I watch and listen to this song, the scene and the environment that my brain is making is so wide and expansive that you can really feel how big this song is in terms of like a soundscape point of view. Especially in the beginning of the MV, you're walking, you see Auguste and his entourage walking through busy city street. Just the width of the soundscape, the sound alone already tells you how big big the city is that we're just looking at a very small section of said city within the video and i think that's so cool i love the sound engineering behind this okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps this could be a new kind of hegum. A new kind of abolition of law. Kind of like a rebellion against a thing. 
in musical form. I can dig it. I can dig it. And then the way the song opens, very much reminiscent of how Digital opened. Because it's the song opened with a Digital, Digital, Chocolate, Digital. And then once the verse actually starts, it's just him on his own. And it's the same lyrics as like the opening chorus, I guess. But just a little bit toned down and second Augusti on his own. And I really like that parallel. I like that. Also, the MV parallel, we're getting kind of like the authoritarian figure versus the rebellious figure. And they're both being played by Mr. Augusti, Mr. Jung, Mr. Min Yungi, Mr. Mr. Jung goes one time. I love that. I know this might seem like trivial things that I'm pointing out, but I really do like stuff like this. That is a. I was about to say, but the song kind of said it for me. This song f really does feel like kind of a like freedom from like the shackles of whatever's holding you down kind of vibe. And I love I love that the song is self aware of it. I love the way the song is written so that it's self aware of it. It's, it's little details like that. Love that. <laughs> I want to get to... Where's the second verse? Just the way this second verse, the pacing of the flow is just so fast and it just doesn't stop. It reminds me a lot of in digital when he's blindfolded around the burning barrel fire. That like that section. If you know the song, you know what I'm talking about. But it gives me that kind of feeling now. And admittedly, I don't actually remember what that part of digital is saying in terms of like the lyrics. But the flow of it, just the fact that both in that section of Dejuta and this section in Hegum, it just feels like his flow never stops. I think that's so cool. It's such a nice... It's a really cool kind of like flex that he's doing, that like he can do this in one breath and just keep it running. I think that's so cool. And then this whole scene here, now we're getting into like the whole two half or the two sides of Augustity confronting each other again a la Dejrita again. And I, I like this concept of he's playing both the antagonist and the protagonist and those two characters are subjective based off of who you're listening to. It's like from the authoritarian figure's side, this Augusti obviously is the antagonist here. But from the point of view of the song and the MV, those roles are reversed now. But they're both being played by the same person, the same actor. And I think that is such a creative casting choice and the way it's such a creative MV direction. I, that's one of the things that I loved about Digital is that, and I love that it's kind of become a continuous thing now. And then, of course, much like Digital, we get the confrontation scene between the two Augustines again in the final chorus. And then the cronies of said MV antagonist turn on said antagonist, provide Mr. Protagonist with the killing blow, and then firearm sequence ensues. I love that. I love... It's so well thought out. I know I've said it a lot. It's just 
It's so well planned. It's so well thought out. It's so well connected. I know I waffled during this. I know I did. Because even I think I waffled too much during that. But that's just how much this MV and the song has me invested in it. Even if this isn't like my type of music that I listen to, this isn't my scene. I am so out of my depths when it comes to the music. But the way this song was kind of shown to me through the MV and through the song and knowing what came before this in De Trita, I can't help but fawn over it because it's so well written on so many different levels. And even knowing the fact that just how musically talented Augusti or Sugar I mean, Yumi's mind is when it comes to stuff like this, I shouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't be surprised that he's able to produce stuff like this time and time again. But I am, and that's kind of his like magic, is that even with previous knowledge and expectations of greatness, he still exceeds that. And this isn't me like kind of fawning over him as an army, not by a long shot. I didn't even really follow BTS all that closely. But that's the power of Agasti, of Shuga. And it's just so much fun. And I'm so excited for the album, even though I have no idea what I'm going to talk about in terms of the music. Because, again, I am in foreign territory now. But this was a lot of fun. Hopefully you all enjoyed it as well. Thank you all for watching. Would you do me a big favor today? Go and spread some love, some extra love and happiness into the world today. Small acts of kindness, whatever it might be, picking up a piece of trash when you're out and about, giving up your seat on public transit, holding the door open for somebody, checking in with your family or friends, little things like that. Spread a little extra love into the world. And if you're ever in a dark place or a tough time and you need someone to be in your corner, shoulder to cry on, shoulder to lean on, listening ear, Know that even though I am just some random guy on the internet, that I will always be your ally, your friend, a shoulder to lean on, trainer in your corner, whatever it may be. I will always, always have your back. So look out for yourselves, look out for each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.